Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dejorin with me, Bring It On. Uh, so I have more deaths because once again I went back to level 17 to try and get the talisman. Still can't get it. So I'm to level 27. Oh, I got a boogie. Uh, also, off camera, uh, between this episode and the last, I bit the heck out of my lip. And so... I probably don't sound different, but I feel like I sound different when I talk because I'm talking over my swollen lip. And um... Whenever I talk, I do run the risk of biting that same swollen part again. <laughs> so I'm going to try and keep it to a minimum going forward. Gosh darn it. Because I don't want to bite it again. I want it to get better. Then I want to yell out in pain and say something that I regret. I'll get back here, platform. Oh no, just, oh, so close, I was doing, I felt like I was doing so well, but I'm a little, I fell a little behind because I missed that one platform, uh, the circle, one that moves in a circle. There, this one right here. Alright, there we go, we're ahead of, we're ahead of the, uh, the game now. Oh, I missed time, I jumped a little bit. I had time and I panicked. I think I didn't, but no, I was good there, I was good. Oh, that was close. All right, here we go. Oh no, oh, I could've recovered that. Okay, cool. Still feeling pretty good about it though. Really taking advantage of that whole infinite lives thing that the uh, game has going for it. Oh, my apple didn't come out. I pressed X. I hesitated when I pressed it, but I did press it. Oh, mistimed it. Oh. Well, Miss gauge the jump, but I think I also missed time to jump as well. Not that it matters, because again, I can recover from it. Darn. I was a little behind schedule there. Oh! Hmm. I feel like you can normally jump off the uh, platform when it, the uh, slug comes up to you like that. I am still feeling pretty good about it, though. We knocked out these first few puzzles without much trouble. Really? I thought I was in the clear there. I was definitely far enough on the platform, I think. I mean, I could have probably moved over like a pixel more or so. But I felt really good about that one. If I get right here... My, my my apple's not coming out. I am pressing. I'm pressing X. Oh, I definitely pressed X there. I hit it like three or four times before I fell to my death. Darn it. Behind schedule a little bit there that time. Two. But yeah, I definitely, definitely pressed X there. Didn't try to grab onto the wall. I could just grab onto the wall. Could just grab onto the wall and be just as fine. Whoa! That thing takes you up too far. You, you can't recover because you'd be surrounded by spikes. Oh, I was too far forward on the uh, platform. I should have taken a step back and then jumped. I would have been fine. Oh, yeah, I saw. I already saw what I... <laughs> I knew I was going to die as soon as I pressed the A button. As soon as I pressed it. My, my apple's still not coming out. I was pressing it over and over and over again. It finally came out, but it was way too late. Oh, 
Oh, I ran. I didn't jump. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna make it, so I was like, screw it. Oh, mistimed it. Mistimed it. A little behind schedule there. Oh, darn it. I still... I, I don't have to wait for the platform. I have to wait for the platform. I can use the apple to jump across when I grab onto the other side, the far side of that first, of the first side. I don't even need the platform for the first half of that jump. Darn it, I almost had it. Yeah, the platform, you don't even need it. You can make it across without it. So, here I am playing like a silly billy, as uh, Henry Killinger would say. Oh, why did I do that? I, I had it. I was in the clear, and I panicked because I'm like, when I was in midair there, after I bounced off the apple, it's like, oh, I can make it to the very far side if I want to. But I don't think that I could have, and so I pulled my jump, and I landed on the uh, center spike. That was my flawed thought process there. Oh, I could make it there. That's interesting. I was holding left to uh, grab onto the center pillar. It didn't work. Like, it didn't, uh... I didn't fall into it in time. Oh no! Oh, behind, a little behind schedule, but there we go. I didn't make it past that, uh, that part, so... I've got to figure it out. Don't even need to worry about the platform. Platform is a trap. I mean, I'm sure you can do it with the platform, but there's there's no reason to. Because you can get across faster without the platform. And since you're a little pressured for time here. Like so. Oh no! <laughs> the, uh... I guess the wave of magma is coming for me. Good progress, though. Good progress. Still feeling pretty good about it. Just running across. Just run! Don't worry about these spikes. They don't matter! Oh! Oh, is that the end? No, it's a teleport. Okay. Oh, got a boogie. I don't have time to adjust in my chair. <laughs> There's a wall of lava coming for me. Oh, darn. Well, there's no way that's the end, and I was right. It's just a, just a teleportal. Don't know what I was doing there. I... It's like, oh, an apple, and I'm just going to use it. <laughs> I haven't quite perfected that puzzle yet. But we're getting there. Okay, still have the apple. Oh no, I couldn't get off the uh, platform in time. But we made it further. Feeling pretty good about that one too. And I get my fly back. While also knowing what lies ahead. That's a good little run.
Run! Ha! You know, match for me. Darn it. Missed time I jump a little bit. Oh, still, made it past that one part. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Just have a new puzzle to solve now. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> Is that the end? Was that another teleporter? Who's to say? That could be the end, because some of these levels aren't super long. Whew, that was kind of a little close. Oh no, ah! Uh, trying to adjust a little bit. I didn't want to risk jumping on those spikes, but... <laughs> My caution cost me my life. Just gotta trust the process. That's fine. You know what? I don't need it. Oh, those are spikes. I didn't. I forgot there are spikes on top of the dart thrower. As I was thinking, I'm going to jump on top of the, uh, the dart launcher so that I don't get hit by the dart. Didn't even realize there were spikes there. <laughs> it's another hazard I need to add to my mental map. Nope, I didn't get close enough to the side. Stuff here is pretty good. Oh, I didn't... That first jump that I did, I didn't think I actually jumped to the side. Turns out I did. <laughs> That's okay, though. So I have to jump onto the mushroom, I can't just walk off the uh, platform onto it. So it'll launch me straight up. I have to actually do it like a small half jump onto it to uh, give myself that forward momentum so I don't get launched into the spikes right above it. It's okay, we're learning. We're learning. Like so. Yeah, I knew that was going to hit me. I have to wait there. Oh, darn it. <laughs> yes, I can avoid both those spike balls. I just don't like waiting for them to swing back around. But if I do, I can avoid both of them and continue through the level. I won't, I won't die. So. Oh, I didn't do the little jump again. Darn it. <laughs> That's all I gotta do. This little hop there. Because I see it, I'm like, oh, I can just walk off the side and land on that, but it, uh, leads to my untimely demise. I keep saying it, but I keep doing it. So to keep telling myself. There we go. Like so. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, the talisman is right behind it? Are you... 
Oh, that's, that's, okay. That's dirty. That's dirty. Alright, let's get it. Let's get it. I'm gonna leave it so only level 17, or the talisman level 17 is the only one I don't get. Because really, the only trouble finding the, or to getting the talismans is finding them. I don't think the puzzles are too... Whoops. Are uh, too difficult when it comes to the talismans. Like, there's none that I haven't been able to do except for level 17. I don't know what it is about that level. I have no idea how to access it. Um, I spent a lot of time doing it, too. Not messed up there, it's fine. Right, level 28, here we go. Um. What do I do? What's going on here? I thought maybe the apple would hurt him or something. I don't know what I... What do I do here? Can I jump on him? Can I jump on his head? I bet you that's how I do it. Yeah, okay. That, I got it. I got it. Don't know where the talisman is at, though. I'm not gonna go for him when he's up top. Oh, uh, maybe I can and jump up to- Oh, the talisman is probably up there, so I have to bounce off his head. Alright, something up here. Alright, cool. Alright, I do have the talisman. Alright, cool. Since I have the stuff from up top, there's no reason for me to jump on him or risk it on the top, uh... When he goes to the top level there. By the time it right, I can probably jump on him twice each time he appears. Well, there's a reason to even risk it. I'm gonna take it slow, slow and steady. And once he starts mixing it up, I assume he's going to start mixing it up, right? Just come to the center this time. Oh no, he mixed it up. Alright, cool. Right? Or did I have... Maybe I just got the pattern wrong.
Uh, it looks like he might be getting faster. Oh, there's a shrine that popped up right here. Okay. Whoops. Oh, oh, I didn't drop off the side. I thought I did. Okay, so I'm throwing in an edit. Uh, while I was trying to beat this level, a ton of background noise came up. It was super distracting uh, for me because I was paying attention to it instead of the game, and so I kept dying. Also, you guys probably would have heard it as well. The microphone was picking it up, and uh, there's no reason for that, so... Let's jump on in again. I have managed to get him down to one health three times now. And every time I do it, I do something just stupid afterwards. Also, I did find out he has health. I don't I don't know if I'm going to cut out that the attempt where I realize he has a health bar at the bottom. Uh, but he does have a health bar down at the bottom there. There's uh, bars across the bottom of the screen. So. I can keep track of how far along I am. Yeah, just keep making these silly little mistakes, because this whole level is just a test of your patience. Um, the time between, like, waiting for him to show up again, it just, it, like, it plucks at my nerves. And it's like a, it's like the calm before the storm, you know, when it's the most nerve-wracking. It's not when the action is taking place, it's like right before the action that you know is coming takes place. And that's the, uh, that's the worst part. And then, because I'm so impatient, once he shows up, no matter... I'm just like, I have to jump on his head, and I, I, I tunnel vision for him, instead of paying attention to the hazards around me. And it cost me my life, so. <laughs> I said, take a deep breath, and take my time. Like so. Everything's going pretty well. Oh. Can't complain so far. Pretty solid attempt, all things considered. Haven't lost my fly yet, so... Can't jump on... I could have jumped on his head there, but... Yeah, it's not worth the risk. Alright, so far so good. That was a little risky jump, but I'm glad I took it. <laughs> Gotta build up my confidence so it can be ripped away from me again. Oh, one of my attempts, I did die. I got hit by the same uh, shrine ball <laughs> twice. I had my fly, I got hit by the, uh, the shrine. And then I fell, and then the shrine ball hit me again. <laughs> that was... that was a first. If I can find it, I'll, I'll throw that in somewhere into the, uh, into the edit, because it, it was pretty funny. So I didn't think that could happen. This was never something I had to concern myself with before. Right, so I think this might be the stage where he only uses the top and the bottom.
So that that was a risk that I didn't need to take. <laughs> that was a risk I did not have to take. I have two I, I have two lives though, so I can be a little risky, a little risque. Sucker! Heck yeah! So that fireball that's right there to my top left—that's uh, the one that kept getting me when he was down to one health. You passed the test somehow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, somehow got that right. Game's calling me out. You would have learned the ancient ninja art of frogs, and perhaps you will help those in need. A normal frog. Whether through basic skills or some allies, you will survive in the real world. Or luck. I think luck's another good good attribute to have. Well, what a pleasant game. So I may not have been the best showcase of the game. Um... But I do think it is a really good game, even though I'm not really good at it. It was a really solid platformer. I went in, I had, you know, because it, it's, it's not a very expensive game. It's only five bucks, brand new on Steam. So if you're looking for a good budget platformer for at a budget price, this is, uh, I recommend this. I do. Uh, gameplay is really tight. I know there was, uh, I had some frustrated moments, but that's going to happen when you die a lot, right? Uh... I'm not gonna break any speedrun records, but I may have broken the uh, the world record for the most deaths. We had, had a really good time with it. It has a lot of really simple mechanics, really basic mechanics, but they the game does a really good job of building on those basic mechanics, and it coalesces into a, a an appropriate challenge. Like it's challenging, but it's not so challenging that you don't feel rewarded after you you complete it. You know, um, really enjoy it, and I think. For five bucks, I mean, you can't beat it. It's it's a steal. Because it has replay value. Um, if you're interested in speedrunning, of course, there's always potential for that as well. And it's a platformer. Platformers have a lot of replay value naturally. Uh, you can go back through and get the collectibles, things like that. Uh, there are secrets to find. Just a, a solid experience all around. Still don't know how to get that talisman on level 17, uh, but that'll, that'll be my, my personal adventure. I won't show that on the channel, I think, so... I completed the game, it cost me <laughs> almost 1,800 lives, but you know what? I didn't break that 1,800, and that was my goal. Initially, my goal was 1,000, um, after I had 600. My first goal was don't break 100 deaths, and then it was don't break 1,000, and then it was don't break 1,800, so. <laughs> but yeah, got the talisman for every level except for level 17. Still don't know how to do it. I know where it's at. I can get right there to it, but I can't quite reach it. So, one day. But yeah, that's the Jordan. Fun game. I had fun with it, uh, despite how I may have sounded at point times, but I, I like being challenged. Uh, that's one of my things. I like having to work or adapt to win. Uh, Under Rail is another good example. Under Rail is not an easy game. And you have to adapt to situations to succeed. And I like, I like challenges like that. I like having to adapt uh, the levels, some levels you had to move fast, some levels you had to move slow, and that's a you know, that's an adaptation you had to get used to to progress to the game, and uh, I really enjoyed it. But that's gonna do it for this uh, let's play. Thanks for joining me on yet another adventure. Hope to see you guys in the next one.